Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2021 BMW M440i xDrive Coupe, as well as learn about the features and other BMW 4 Series configurations. Before we do, however, I just want to remind you that if you find this build and price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. BMW's two-door 4 Series differentiates itself from the 3 Series sedan with a controversial new design and a more elegant roofline. Mechanically, the two cars are almost identical. They are powered by the same two powertrains, either a 255 horsepower turbocharged 4-cylinder or a 382 horsepower turbocharged inline 6. While passenger space is obviously arranged differently inside the two-door 4 Series, occupants are treated to the same basic interior interior design, layout, and features as in the four-door, and as fans of BMW's latest interior arrangement, I'm okay with that. The new BMW 4 Series Coupe will take on other premium two-door models, such as the Audi A5, the Lexus RC, and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class. Fans of the Fastback 4 Series Grand Coupe Sedan or the high-performance M4 will be happy to know that those models will continue to be offered. The 4 Series finally catches up to the 3 Series for 2021 with a clean sheet redesign and bolder exterior styling. The 2021 4 Series is scheduled to go on sale in October. The turbocharged inline 6 in the M440i model will be the enthusiast choice, but the nearly $13,000 price premium may turn off some buyers. That bump in price comes with a load of additional equipment, though, in case you need more reason to justify the cost. The M440i comes standard with all-wheel drive, for one thing, and it's also outfitted with the unique uh, M Sport 18-inch wheels with run-flat tires, the M Sport suspension, and rear differential, a rear spoiler, a faux leather-wrapped dashboard, and more. A convertible model is also offered but switching to the soft top body style adds almost $8,000 to the base price. The 2021 BMW 4 Series comes with the same standard 8.8 inch and optional 10.3 inch infotainment screens as the 3 Series sedan. Both displays run the latest version of BMW's iDrive 7 infotainment software, which pairs an intuitive interface with a console mounted click wheel controller for easy use while driving. Those who prefer to interact with the display directly can do so since, since both are touchscreens. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and in-dash navigation will all be standard, while a 12.3-inch digital gauge display, onboard Wi-Fi, and a wireless smartphone charging pad will all be optional extras. Okay, let's jump into this build and price review of the 2021 BMW 4 Series. Specifically, we're going to build in price at the end of this review when we learn about the features and, the, and all that. We're going to build in price an M440i. Real quick, before we get in, get started, get into all that, I just want to remind you to take a look at some of my other related build and price reviews. I've put links in the description below. All through the overview, I mentioned the 3 Series being just like the 4 Series, just different in body style. Well, I just did the uh, 2021 BMW 330i xDrive sedan. I did a build and price on that. I actually did the 530i as well. I just did the brand new 530i, which has all the updated stuff as well. Uh, if you're interested in the 440i Grand and coupe. Uh, I did a building price of that. I also did a building price of the M4. Uh, some of the cars that this uh, that the uh, 4 Series Coupe competes against, Audi A5, that Lexus RC, and the Mercedes-Benz C-Class, I've done building prices of those as well. All those vehicles I just mentioned, all those links are in the description below. So after you watch those, this video, make sure you check, a, uh, check out a few of those videos as well. All right, before we get into anything, let's 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 check out the configurations. Let's check out what configurations are available. So you got your base model 430i coupe. That means that's rear wheel drive. It has a starting price of $45,600. If you want your base model, and that's the one with 255 horsepower, uh, if you want to go 430i X drive, right? You want to get X drive, that's going to cost you another $2,000. So now you're looking at 47.6. Now here's the deal. Uh, the 440i, uh, M440i xDrive Coupe, yep, it's $58,500, but I was really thinking about this. You know, I, I thought, yeah, maybe I might do a building price of a 430i. Maybe I might want to get down one of those because, you know, yeah, the extra power of the M440 is cool, and that's all great. 
but I don't really care about that. Maybe I, maybe I don't care about that. But still, by the time you get your M Sport package and you do all those other things that you want to do, you're going to kind of just be on, and you get your X Drive and all that, you're going to kind of just be under uh, under the price of an M440i. And yeah, we're still going to have to throw a package or two on there. But at least you're going to be walking away with an absolute car that's going to have no disappointments for you. So personally, I think if you're going to get one of these and, and you have the coin for it, get the M440i for sure. All right, so let's go over the features. So before we jump into the build of our 440i, our M440i, I should say, let's let's check out the features. Obviously, we know this a, a clean sheet redesign, uh, very, very bold redesign. I think, uh, how do I feel about this grill? I don't know. I mean, it's really exaggerated. Uh, it would probably have to grow on me in time. I don't know if it, if it will. Uh, but here it is, the new 2021 BMW 4 Series Coupe with its prominently displayed grill and all that other stuff there. Here they're talking to us about a few more design features. So they're saying it's classic BMW design, reinterpreted, right? Progressive sports coupe, vertical kidney grill. That's that's this area here, if you don't know. Uh, impressive air inlets, that's down here. They're huge. Uh, and intense LED headlight designs. And the LED headlights do look pretty cool. Coming around the back, they're talking about the sporty rear end. So all new 4 Series Coupe. Uh, you got a freeform dual exhaust finishers because the exhaust is the finishers are just the tips, really. A rear diffuser that's all this plasticky looking stuff in between those dual exhaust finishers. And slimmer L shaped tail lights. I wouldn't call that an L shape, uh, I guess. But yeah, I don't know how, like I said, the, the, the design to me right now, it hasn't grown on me yet. It's just okay. It's just okay. I'd really like to see one on the road. At any rate, they're saying or, uh, it's got a sophisticated silhouette, uh, sloping roof line, sculpted rear wheel arches, which do look nice. I do like I do like the roof line right around this area right here, and that does look nice. And I like I like the the hips on the on these rear quarters back here. It does look very nice. I do like that design. Look at me now. I'm already turning around. You got to look at it close though. It takes a little time to appreciate some of these design lines. At any rate, there's available 19-inch wheels that will accentuate the muscular physique. There's a driver-focused interior in the new 2021 BMW 4 Series Coupe. Uh, supportive standard sports seats, uh, detail stitching on those seats, uh, and the layout of the cockpit uh, places the driver at the front and center of this whole uh, spaceship, I guess. I don't know. This is this very nice automobile. All right, let's talk performance. We I already kind of broke it down all already. You either get a you either get the four cylinder with 255 horse, or you get a three or you get a six cylinder with 382 horse. And this is the engine right here that comes in our um, M440i X Drive Coupe. Very nice. BMW finely engineered BMW M twin power turbo engine. Uh, and then they talk about razor sharp handling. It's got a wider front track which allows for enhanced responsiveness and exceptional handling. It's got a stiffened uh, chassis uh, for maximum rigidity and comfort. Uh, so what? Standard BMW M components that come on the M440i, such as M Sport brakes, M differential, M Sport suspension, and more. It says explore the M440i, seeing that we're going to do a building price on it. Okay, so we'll dip over here. We're going to learn some specifics about the M440i X-Drive Coupe, and then we'll pick back up and learn some more about, like, technology features and stuff like that. So we already know some quick specs here. 382 horsepower, uh, 0 to 64.3 seconds, uh, $58,500 to put one of these in your driveway, your garage, or wherever you might park your uh, new car. Uh, so it's a showcase of excellence, the BMW M. Uh, they're talking about the design again here. Uh, they're talking. Oh, up here they're really talking about the shadow line. That there's an available shadow line package, and the shadow line package. What that does for you, do you uh, those of you who don't know, uh, like say around the windows where there might normally be chrome trim, uh, now there's blacked out trim, and so that's really what a shadow line package is. It just really blacks out everything, like around the grill where it might be. Sh it takes shiny bits and makes them black. All right, uh, down here the M440i comes standard with the M Sport brakes and an M Sport suspension. Uh, you also get, uh, it's an intelligent coupe that has uh, enhanced handling and adaptable performance and an intelligent all-wheel drive and an M-Sport 
differential. We will come back to check out all standard features, but I want to check out our other features first, like the technology, like the just your basic technology features and all that of the 2021 uh, 4 Series. But real quick, also the M440i has a standard aerodynamic kit that includes larger air vents. There, those are right there. Sportier front and rear bumpers, and an even more athletic attitude. Okay, so that was our little sidestep to learn some specific features of the M440i. Now I want to jump back and learn about some technology features specifically of the all-new 4 Series Coupe, like the digital key, which is really, really cool. Uh, it's a BMW first. Uh, you can secure lock, unlock, start your BMW. Uh, you can share access to your BMW through this digital key with family and friends, etc., etc. Kind of cool. Here's the live cockpit professional. Uh, it's an available uh, feature. It's not standard. It's all digital instrument cluster and a central information display with touchscreen, music, navigation, everything. It's very, 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 very nice. Uh, then you've got the advanced uh, capability. So you got standard Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, um, wireless access to your apps, entertainment, and communication features. There's the digital assistant, and what does this do? It's a personal assistant that gives you complete, convenient control over vehicle settings, navigation, and entertainment. You can simply say, hey, BMW, and I guess it'll bring the thing to life. Uh, and then there are the safety systems, uh, like what? Uh, standard active driving assist, which includes safety features such as active blind spot detection, frontal collision warning with city uh, collision mitigation, lane departure warning, and more. Like I said, we're going to learn about the standard features on the M440i, so we'll know exactly what safety features and more that it comes with in just a second. Oh, see down here, you can see the 4 Series, you can get it as a convertible. And there's that M4 that you can grab as a convertible as well. But like I said, it's gonna you're just gonna rack up another premium price just for them to cut the roof off. So, but just so you know, they are available. All right, well that was all the features. So that big technology section, that was the last section that they that they gave us. So let's go over the gallery. Let's look at the exterior photos and the interior photos for the 2021 BMW 4 Series Coupe. That includes our M440i. Uh, uh, X Drive Coupe as well. So here they're just showing us, you know, some the exterior photos, and it's not bad looking. I guess the grill, as I look at it a little bit more and a little bit more, it does maybe I'm softening up to it, but that that particular angle is not attractive. I'll tell you that much right now. So maybe it's going to take some time for it to to uh, to warm uh, to warm up to it. But it, it it does have some some nice lines to it. It does have some nice lines to it. Uh, let's get on to the interior photos. There's the M steering wheel. The interior is typical BMW, which is not a bad thing. It's very nice in here. Those seats are very, very nice to me. They look kind of 6 Series, although the 6 Series isn't really around anymore, is it? I guess uh, I should say it looks kind of 8 Series, those seats to me. Uh, I guess it's because it's coupy. There's the engine and the, and the M440i X-Drive, which makes 382 horse. There's your cup holders, your wireless charging, and a USB. There's the back seats. They don't look half bad, but this seat looks like it. The, that passenger seat looks like it's up way far uh, forward. Uh, here's your uh, iDrive and navigation, entertainment, your central information display. Uh, there's that available digital instrument cluster we already kind of learned about. Here's your trunk with your pass through with your 60-40 uh, split fold down seats. And that looks like we're at the end of our photo. So now let's go find out about the specific standard features of the M440i X-Drive Coupe for 2021. Oh, awesome. We can see the exterior colors. We can actually go through the exterior colors for our 2021 BMW M440i X-Drive Coupe. This color here can't go wrong. Oh, look, we can even do a virtual spin around. This color here, Alpine white. And then we've got Arctic Blue Metallic. We've got Tanzanite Blue 2 Metallic. We've got this Dravid Gray. It's all right, I guess. Uh, Portomeo Blue. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. And then we got Mineral White. And then we have the Black Sapphire. So not a huge color palette, but you know, you'll find something you like in there, I guess. All right, let's let's find out about these standard features and specifications. Let's start with specs. So standard price, uh, MSRP fifty eight thousand five hundred dollars. You know, you got an eight speed automatic transmission. I'm not going to highlight everything here. Eight speed. If you want to make sure you catch everything, just simply pause the video. Eight speed automatic transmission, 
three liter six cylinder engine that makes 382 horse, 369 pound feet of torque. Uh, car does zero to 60 in 4.3 seconds. Uh, I'm assuming that the 440i will do have a top speed of 155 miles an hour, Governor Limited. Uh, you get the all season run flat tires. You're running 18 by seven and a half tires all the way around. So you're running 225, 45, 18s all the way around on this on, on this car. Fuel tank capacity 15.6 uh, six gallons. And they think that the uh, automatic city and highway, I, they seem to think that highway uh, fuel economy is 31 miles to the gallon. All right, let's check out these exterior dimensions right here. So we got an overall length of 188 inches, a width of 72.9 inches, and an overall height of 54.8 inches. The weight with an automatic transmission, which is the, all it comes with, I suppose, is 3,977 pounds, and it's not quite a 50-50 weight distribution. Interior dimensions, headroom, they say 38 inches. Legroom in the front, 41.8 inches. Legroom in the back, 34.5. Shoulder room up front, 55.1. Shoulder room in the back, 51 inches. Cargo capacity, 12 cubic feet. Okay, let's see about these standard features. Again, kind of like with the specifications, we're not going to highlight everything. They got all these categories, performance and efficiency, handling, ride, braking. They got all these categories. We'll just quickly go through them. So we're just going to hit them as a drop downs. Some of this stuff's going to be redundant, like all this engine stuff. They're talking about the three liter engine here uh, and the eight speed automatic transmission. Like some of that's redundant. They didn't, we didn't learn on the other side about the auto stop start, the M Sport differential, which we know is standard. Uh, there's driving mode, sport, comfort, sport plus, under ride and handling. What do we have? Five link rear suspension, uh, high performance brakes and all that. M Sport suspension, uh, power servotronic, power steering, all wheel drive, all that stuff there. For the exterior, what do we have? Uh, standard 18-inch wheels, standard non-metallic paint. That's going to be like your Alpine White. Uh, standard M, M, M body kit, basically. That's the shadow line, the aerodynamic kit, the M spoiler, all that kind of stuff. Interior, wow, are you kidding me? Standard interior is Sensitec, it, which means that it's not leather. But, you know, it is what it is. So hopefully we'll, we won't price this thing over 70 grand. I'm going to try to do it reasonable. Uh, standard technology features. Uh, BMW Teleservices, remote software upgrade capable, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. You got uh, this connected package professional, which gives you real-time traffic information, BMW remote services, stolen vehicle recovery, blah, blah, blah. Your standard audio system is your what? 205-watt uh, 10-speaker system. So you gotta, gotta, you're going to have to get the Harman Kardon or something. Uh, they'll give you a one-year access to Sirius XM radio and all of that. Instruments and controls. What do we got down here? Uh, they're talking about that live cockpit, right, with the 8.8-inch screen. You got a rear window defroster, tire pressure monitor, dynamic cruise control, USB and Bluetooth audio. Under comfort and convenience, you got the engine stop-start feature. Uh, you got uh, automatic climate control, comfort access keyless entry. Uh, what else? Got lots of stuff. Locking glove box, universal garage door opener, uh, all that kind of stuff. Safety and security, anti-lock brakes, uh, adaptive brake lights, you know, all your standard stuff. LED headlights and tail lights, daytime running lights, active driving assist, rear view camera, uh, BMW remote services for if your vehicle is stolen, uh, all that kind of stuff. And then you've got your BMW warranty information under here. So you got your standard four-year, 50,000-mile warranty on your uh, BMW. Let's move on. Let's go build it now. Okay, so here we are at the car configurator. Here's our uh, 2021 M440i X-Drive Coupe. Uh, here we've got – it comes standard with the M, uh, M Sport Performance Package. But here you can upgrade to the shadow line and – we're not going to upgrade to the shadow line. I, I think it's got enough dark features on it. But see, here's what here's what it would change it. So, like, you see how the grill bezel around the grill is not blacked out. If you did the shadow line, that would black all that out and stuff. And and I'm cool leaving that. It's only a $300 upgrade, but it's not really about the price. I'm just – I'm fine with it the way it is. Let's move on to colors. I'm not crazy about any of the interior colors. 
And the only standard color, no cost option, is Alpine White. The rest of the colors you're going to pay five fifty for, except for Dravid Gray. You're going to pay two thousand dollars for Dravid Gray and that Tanzanite Blue. Two ugly colors you got to pay a lot of money for. Uh, we're going to leave it at Alpine White. Let's move on to wheels. Uh, what do we got here? We got these standard eighteen inch wheels. Now, do we have like some twenty inch wheel options or some nineteen inch? Wheel? So we got a lot of nineteen inch wheel options. Uh, how about these nineteen inch double spoke? These Orbit Gray ones here. Yeah, those look nice. Let's do those. For, uh, that's a $600 upgrade. Those are all-season run-flat tires. Let's move on to upholstery. We got to get some. We got to get out of the Sensatech. You understand what I'm saying? Got to get out of the Sensatech. We can get. There's lots of leather. There's lots of leather. We can do Tacoma red leather, huh? With contrast stitching, or we can do black. Uh, let's try. Let's see what the red looks like. Let's see what that red looks like. Now to do that. We have to add the ambient lighting package too. Okay, whatever, that's fine. It's just 250, so I'm okay with that. Confirm changes, and that looks that looks kind of fun. Let's have a look around uh, in the interior. Okay, so now we can take a look around the interior really fast. It's not a very good view from inside here, but at least we get to have a little route around. Here's our leather interior. Definitely a bump up from the uh, Sensatech. Does cost us fifteen hundred dollars to jump into that, uh, but I'm I'm cool with that. I'm definitely cool with that. Let's move on to the trim. It'd be great if they had carbon fiber. Do they often off? No, they don't even offer carbon fiber. Uh, and this is supposed to be the sport mode. I'm not crazy about any of the trim, so I'm just gonna leave. And this is rare that I even do this. I'm gonna leave the aluminum. Uh, I think I'm gonna leave the aluminum on there. I'm just not crazy about any of them. Uh, and then they got featured packages here. So you got a premium package. And it gives you the heads-up display, heated front seats, uh, live cockpit professional. And then you've got uh, the executive package, which gives you a few more things. But I don't see heads-up display uh, in there. So let's just double-check that the heads – yeah, there's a heads-up display, heated front seats. Let's go ahead and throw that executive package in there. So now we're sitting at what? 64000 We So we have to remove the ambient lighting now? Okay. But do we still get to keep – the red leather seat so let's confirm these changes now we got to jump back to the interior make sure that uh we still have our red leather seat looks like we still have our red leather seats right and then of course we still have that aluminum interior that's really ugly and then yeah now we have we purchase we, we grab the executive package there's additional packages down here there's a driving assistant professional there's a parking package there's a cooling and high performance tire package you know what? I think we're good on all of those. Here are some, some options. Uh, remote engine start. I kind of like that. That's $300. That's kind of cool. I like to have that. Uh, what else is there in here? The heads-up display, we have that. The Harman Kardon. Let's, let's, let's bump up and get a better Harman Kardon sound system. I thought, oh, we do have in-performance brakes, but with the blue calipers, that's fine. Uh, the rest of this stuff, the adaptive suspension, the other little nickel and dime stuff, they can keep those things. Let's move on to the summary. So here we are. We're sitting at sixty-five thousand dollars. The vehicle started at like fifty-eight, and at the end of the day, that's not too bad, especially for a BMW. It looks really nice. Yeah, it started at fifty-eight six or fifty-eight five. Now we're at sixty. We're at sixty-five. We didn't even spend twelve thousand dollars on upgrades. Uh, that's a score. <laughs> that's a score for this car. That's the score for this BMW. All right, on that note, I do like the car. I like it with this option, this white, the 19-inch wheels, the red leather. Uh, it makes this front grille look a little better. Makes it look a little better. All right, on that note, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Two thumbs up for this car. I like it. Uh, if you found this review of the 2021 BMW 4 Series Coupe, moreover, the 2021 BMW M440i xDrive Coupe, uh, please like share and subscribe to my channel. Other than that, I'm going to tell you to have a wonderful day and I will see you on the very